what's going on guys drones of dogs here welcome back to the channel <laughs> it's a beautiful day guys it is a beautiful day it is a beautiful day no better day to get some drone flying in and that's what we finna do but before we get some drone flying in you guys you guys know what you need to do what do you guys need to do before we get some drone flying in what do you guys need to do you guys need to Smash that like button, man. Smash that like button before we get into this review. Smash that like button before I show you what I got today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is your first video you checking out. I'm your boy, Drones and Dogs, man. We do all kind of RC stuff here on this channel, man. We do drones, we do RC cars. Occasionally, we do airplanes and stuff when I get with my buddy Scott. I haven't got with my buddy Scott in a while, so I have to get with him soon. Uh... We do assortment of different RC things, man. So make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you have it. And uh, all of my subscribers will tell you if you are a new subscriber. If you are a new subscriber, comment below. Let, let me know if you are a new subscriber. Because all of my subscribers will tell you that uh, the benefit of being subscribed to Joe. The benefit of being subscribed. <laughs> the benefit of being subscribed to Drones and Dogs is. You guys get to find out all the exclusive bangers, all the RC deals, and I think I got a good one for you guys today. Boy, do I got something for you guys today. Hit the like button first. I'm not going to show you till you hit the like button. You guys, you, you know that. Hit that like button. I'm not showing you nothing until you hit this like button. Hit the like button. Guys, hit the like button. Quit playing. All right, now y'all hit the like button. We can get into this video for real now. All right, guys. So, what I got for you today, man, I was on Banggood. You know, sometimes, you know, if you ever shopped on Banggood, and if you, uh, I won't even on Banggood. Actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I was on Facebook. And if you ever shopped on Banggood, you know how Facebook had them pop-up ads, and them ads that just pop up as you're scrolling down your feed. I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down. And this thing popped up, $16. I was like... $16. No way. Who? What's that dude that be like, no way? Because so I'm like, ain't no way. So I picked this thing up from Banggood, 16 bucks. And it did take like three weeks to get here. But 16 bucks. Now, that's the like the cheapest version with the camera. You can get a non-camera version that's cheaper than that. But why would you want the non-camera version? I mean, unless you just want to just fly it around, but that's cool too. But for the cheapest basic version with a single battery, it was 16 bucks guys and then you can get a dual camera version where it has a, a camera underneath and that's, a, that's like 21 dollars i believe and um you can get extra batteries the more stuff you get of course it goes up a couple bucks but for the base version 16 bucks bang good this is a foldable drone with a fpv camera wi-fi fpv camera and uh, we're gonna check this bad boy out from Banggood. So now that you guys have finally hit the like button, I'm gonna show you what's in this case and what you get. Let's get, get, get it. Guys, for 16 bucks, man, I'm even amazed you can even get a case with this little thing. You don't even get a case with a uh, DJI drone. You gotta buy the, the Fly More bundle when you buy the DJI stuff and all the uh, expensive stuff. You gotta buy a Fly More. $16, you're getting the case everything like i said this is the single battery version you see the drone here this is the lsrc e88 guys okay so i will uh if i can remember i'll put the link in the description below so right here you got a uh, prop guards you got a phillips screwdriver of course and you got this micro usb to standard usb charger that was in the bag but i took that out to charge the battery you got um instruction manual that's in chinese and english right there you got a quick uh cheat sheet guy that uh tells you how to get the app the app is the rc fpv app guys so not a whole lot of things to go with this kit that's why i didn't do a traditional table like review or unboxing that you guys would usually see that's pretty much everything that comes in with this little cheapo man you got this uh transmitter here really cheap dji uh, knockoff style transmitter that we have seen with a ton of these drones before and it is labeled you guys so you got automatic takeoff automatic land you got your trimmer 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 you got your uh pitch and roll you got your throttle stick power button we got a fpv foam mount right here fake antennas 
right here. We got some bumper buttons. We got a speed button right here. Headless mode button right here. Gyro calibration right here. And 360 flips right here, guys. Yes, this thing does 360 flips. And it takes three AA batteries, not included. Now, let's get to the gusto. Let's get to what you guys have came to see. This is the, the foldable drone, guys. Uh, the LSRC E88 is what they call it. it kind of reminds me of the Isheen uh, E58 that came out years ago. The Isheen E58 was like one of the first ever like DJI Mavic clones, toy grade clones that kind of like blew the internet up. So this is, I guess, I, I guess you could say this is like the predecessor to that. Like I said, this is the single camera version, so you can see there's an opening for the dual camera version. You can get the dual camera version, guys. I didn't. I didn't really want that. I don't use, I don't really care for that little bottom camera or nothing because it's not optical flow. It's just a, another camera that you can look down towards the ground for. You can manually adjust this, this camera so you can uh, fix the pitch of it so you can look down to the ground pretty much yourself. Or you just leave it up. I kind of like just leaving it horizon level. You got some LED lights right here that look, that will be like sensors on a real Mavic. Fold these legs out. Real lightweight drone, guys. Lightweight lightweight uh, way underneath 249 grams so no need to worry about registering in the u.s you do got a couple led indicators you got an led indicator up here an led indicator in the rear you're not going to see it here in the daytime because it's too bright to see but at nighttime you would definitely see those and those are your only led lights here so our battery is a lipo battery it's a 3.7 volt 1800 milliamp hour battery guys so let's see what kind of flight we get out of this so this, this is a drone aimed at beginners. Even though it looks like a Mavic mini is type style drone, guys, this is a drone that is basically just aimed at beginners. And we're gonna test this bad boy out and see how well it flies and all that good stuff today. So let's get, get, get it, guys. So, turning on the drone. See the lights are flashing. Let's turn on the transmitter. Up, down, binds us to the transmitter. You wanna press that that's your level calibration so let's go ahead and get this um wi-fi going i'm not going to do a screen recording guys i'm just going to go ahead and just do a direct recording from the app and have that up on the screen of course let's see what the wi-fi is it is bad boy uh wi-fi 8k they kill me with this 8k and 4k stuff they be trying to put on here it says Wi-Fi 8K, stuff like that, and some numbers. We know this is not an 8K camera drone, guys. I'd be surprised, if it barely be 720p. So the app is the RCFPV app. Um, yeah, we're gonna put it in our little phone mount, little doohickey, and we're gonna click a uh, start, guys. So there we go. FPV feed is to be had. Let's go ahead and start the recording. Recording is started. We got a timer going down. So we can go ahead and do this, guys. So let's go ahead and hit the automatic takeoff. One press, and it takes off. So this thing does have altitude hold. Ooh, look, and altitude hold is not that great. Wow, because I didn't even do nothing. So it just bounced down. So uh, yeah. <laughs> let's do another level calibration. So we did another level calibration. Let's uh, go ahead and. Take off again. I'm gonna throttle it up. So look at that, it keeps, look at, it keeps dropping down on its own. I'm not doing anything, it just does that on its own. So let's go ahead and increase the rate, second rate. Go up again. I'm gonna throttle it up. Look at that, now it's climbing up there. Okay. Now it's settled down and it's dropping a lot of altitude, losing a lot of altitude. Wow. So the barometer on this thing is really funky. Look at that. It's doing all that bobbling and all that stuff on its own. Look at that. Just showing you. Kind of show you how it's kind of controlling. Look at that. Now it's losing a lot of altitude. And then it look, look, it gains all that. So you gotta be careful with this guys. You guys can see I did calibrate it. Wow, it just got a real funky barometer on this one. It flies. Look, it looked like it wanted to drop down right there. Then it gains a lot of altitude. Wow, this could be a flyaway hazard, guys. 
I mean, like I said, 16 bucks, but that barometer is really uh, scaring me there. And I don't want to press down on a throttle too long and have the motors kill up there because if you down throttle too long, the motors will kill and it'll just drop out the sky because they think you're trying to land. But other than that, look at that. See, I down throttle too long and it just dropped out the sky. <laughs> Stop that recording. So this is one of those, uh, I guess you kind of get what you pay for type deals. Am I mad? No, because this thing costs $16. So it's one of those, I'm kind of actually kind of shocked as flying type of deals. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can calibrate it again. So I calibrated it. Let's go ahead and um, go to high rate, start the recording again, and automatic takeoff. Wow. Get a barometer on here, guys. It's really something else. Yeah, the barometer is kind of crazy on this one, guys. I mean, it's something if you want to tour around with it for uh, 16 bucks. Yeah, you know I mean, it's 16 bucks, but if this was like your only drone, I would say no, guys. Don't don't buy this if this was your only drone because you will be disappointed. <laughs> but for 16 bucks, it's something to, to play around with. I'll say that. I've had worse. I paid... Let's put it like this. I pay more for worse. And I'm not trying to tell you to go out and buy this, but I'm just saying I, I paid more money for worse drones that just say that wouldn't even fly this good. But so right now it's behaving all right. It's behaving okay that I'm just flying around. It's not acting wonky. It did a little bit there though. It had a little drop out right there, but. Like I said, this is one of those you just get what you pay for type deals, guys. It don't, it don't, that when you got a drone with altitude hold, it has like a barometer in there, and this one doesn't have like a great one to keep the, like the altitude hold that well, is what I can say from this one. But right now, it's flying decent. Of course, now that I'm saying it's flying decent, watch something's gonna happen now, but. We just fly this bad boy around. We are in the third rate right now, cruising around. And the reason why I put it in the third rate is because I want to be able to have enough throttle punch to be able to try to throttle up if it tries to drop down again like it had, like it was doing at first, but it's not doing that right now. Fingers crossed. So I'm just cruising it around, but it seems like if I let go or let off throttle, it wants to act wonky sometimes. I let go of the throttle and it just, it's floating around, which is to be expected, but I just don't want it to bob around with that uh, barometer. But right now it's acting okay. Right now it's okay. Maybe that that little drop out the sky not rebooted his system. <laughs> that little drop out. Oh, this does do flips, but I'm afraid to flip it. I'm afraid to do a flip. Look at that. It lost a lot of altitude right there. But it flipped. It did do flip. No front flip though. Don't want to do no front flip. No back flip either. So maybe it only does side flips. Yeah, it only does side flips. No front or back flips. And it just auto landed it. So, let me stop that. I don't see any lights flashing. Is that our flight time? I stopped that recording. Start another recording. Take off again. So we're still flying. Yeah, they're just the barometer on this, guys. Just be, just be mindful. You get what you pay for. Look at that, it's dropping down again. So that might be our flight time. Yeah, that's our flight time, it dropped down. That's our flight time. So, like I said, if this was your only drone, you was getting this as your solo, only flying drone, no.
I would say passing it guys. The barometer was acting wonky, all that kind of crazy type stuff. Or maybe it'd just be mine. I could just have a default. Maybe, you know, it's just a quality control issue with mine. But uh, for 16 bucks, I'm really not mad. You know what I'm saying? Something you could tool around with, play around with. So there you have it guys, LSRC E88. Your boy Jones and Dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next episode. Doses.